Hello everybody and welcome to the part 72 of the Arduboy Dev stream. So uh, today uh, we will continue to uh, improve the editor and uh, mainly to fix the puzzle path uh, algorithm. Uh, and also I've done some uh, minor change uh, to the editor. I will show you. Uh, but yeah, the, the big problem is this uh, puzzle path computation. And I thought about it and uh, I may have an idea to solve it. So <laughs> we can try. Uh, but just an idea, so I didn't write anything. We'll, we'll do it together. Uh, all right, so the first thing I've done is I've uh, added the um, icon for the uh, showing the path uh, for the button in the toolbar. So I just create an icon. And then also what I've done is I get back all the uh, items from uh, Git. Uh, from Git, uh, the previous uh, <laughs> version of the file, so I restore all of them. Now they are stored into comment as we have done before. Um, there's another bug, annoying bug that uh, we may we we can try to fix is um, the position of the item are not correct depending on the zoom. So here, for example, you can see the spike. It seems that the spike are not on the wall, but actually, if I zoom, they are correctly placed. So it's just a matter of uh, uh, it's a matter of 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 approximation of uh, rounding numbers, I guess. And that's funny because it works if you just zoom like this, but maybe if you if you pan the view then that shift so i think it happened when you pan the view all right but we'll see if we have time for this bug uh otherwise um i think the most important is trying to fix this uh this path problem so as a reminder if i put my uh um spawn point here then the path is not correctly computed uh, and uh, this is because uh, as we mentioned before in priority we check uh, the top exit so i thought about this issue and Actually, I think it's uh, simpler than what I thought initially uh, because uh, this problem only appear for the first um, the first puzzle screen. So from the spawn point here, uh, basically. Uh, so yes, I, I start by here, but I should also check. So so that's what that's what I was saying before. We should check in both direction. We should try to find a path going up, but also try to find a path going uh, right here and see if we can reach the, um, the grail here. Um, so, uh, but this only, the problem only appear for the first puzzle screen, because after that, when I'm here, second one, I, in each puzzle, there's only two exit. Okay, or one entrance, one exit. It's up to you how you want to call it. But there's only two, uh, yeah, two sides where you can go to the next puzzle. And the algorithm is checking that we are not going uh, in the previous puzzle screen. So once we have started in one direction, we will always continue to the next puzzle screen and never go back, never going back to the previous puzzle because the, the, the algorithm is al already checking that. But for the first puzzle, there is no go back there because we start here. So we don't know in which direction we, sh we should start, right? So uh, that's why I think to fix it is uh, actually quite simple. We can uh, first call the function so calling the same function but 
calling the same function um, twice or maybe four times for the four sides and uh, first uh, checking one direction and if I cannot find it changing the other direction and if I cannot find both direction then uh, we can throw the exception like there is no exit in the puzzle but if I can find one then okay that's that's the the path where we should go so um, basically the algorithm should be the same I guess but we just want probably to to tell the algorithm uh, start by checking the top or start by checking the right start by checking bottom start by checking the left um, or maybe what we can do is uh, uh, I just let you start whatever you want from the top for example but if I cannot find the exit then I I just relaunched the same function but I said don't start with this uh, top one take the other one try the other one that would be easier I think that would be just one parameter to say avoid this this first puzzle screen exit all right so uh, let's um, let's do that let's do that let's close some so that's the new icon uh, let's close some files okay so it's in the map and this is our function so uh, we can probably give our parameters like which which path I should avoid or more um, but I think we are we are testing it by screen coordinates right so um, or maybe we can just give a puzzle pass node um, Uh, it's not a struct, so I cannot uh, nullify it, but uh, uh, but anyway, not to uh, exclude, not to exclude um, path path not to exclude. Okay. I cannot nullify it, but we can something have something like uh, um, ID, like the the current screen. The screen ID could be minus one, for example. Uh, so that's another test that should be here. If we have this and this. And it's a puzzle screen exit, and um, and it's not. We should not exclude this path node. Maybe I can give it to that function because it's called three times. That would avoid me to duplicate. I think this one is only uh, only used here. Yeah, and it's pretty simple. Um, but it's a bit strange. Let's make another function. I think it will be more logical. And I think here is good. So 
is is not actually <laughs> actually the contains also probably not working well We should try to make a cyclic reference. I think that 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 will probably not work well because we didn't write any before we were checking the point, so we were only checking the coordinate. So so we should write the um, equal operator, I think to make it work correctly. Um, and if we write this, we can then write something as simple as this uh, current screen not equal to this. All right, and um, so let's add it everywhere. Okay, and let's write the operator. Um, and here I need to give an exclude path, maybe. So where is my, okay, here. So I'm not super familiar to write a bool operator. I guess it's like this. So, uh, how to write an operator? Uh, is it like this? Um, <laughs> I don't write often operator in C sharp. Let's quickly Google it. Um, Out of our loading example, just a second. Oh, there is maybe no space. Ah, it should. Is it? Should be static. Probably static. Um. And I actually, 
no, is I want equally poor. And is this supposed to be static? Yeah. Over the uh, overlap overload unary operator expected. Um, uh, okay, the operator requires matching operator to also be defined. Yep, don't worry, I will do that. Is it like this? Must be disk declare static and public. User defined operator must be declared static and public. Yeah. Uh, static, public. So we are, we are just comparing our screen X. not the uh, not the ID so wait a minute I lost my yeah okay the X and Y so uh, I mean, if it's this, uh, so uh, yeah, I don't have uh, this. So, how to write? Uh, operator syntax is always confusing for me. this one operator overloading oh, I have ah, it's a static and object one object two okay let's call them how about that Okay, uh, it seems better. Oops, object two. Object two. Let's write the opposite. Okay, so But the thing is, uh, so we can give some probably negative number in the X and Y. Uh, for the first time, we want to initialize the f to test the first path. Um, uh, but does not override equals alt enter uh show potential fix okay uh never mind okay so so 
so here so yeah I, I need to split the function here and also because yeah in draw puzzle path I don't want to give any random uh, Uh, da, 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 da. so so let's split this function so I give back this one and then uh We can you we can do a try. And catch this exception, but um, I save it in different way. No start, no end. Um, so maybe I will move the exception uh, outside of the function and then it becomes a normal behavior to not find not find it put it this here and return a flag here if we didn't find the path okay if we don't find the exit don't find the last screen we are in dead end return false otherwise here we are fine return true we found the path so return true okay and then here We can just uh, create an empty node. Um, so we give it uh, minus one, and the path we I think we can give a uh, minus one everywhere. There's no chance that a, a, a path will have this, so it will always be false when comparing. So search first. Let the algorithm search from the first exit that it can find and if we didn't find it no path was found so search again uh, from the other exit So excluding the second puzzle screen. So we exclude the second because the first is the one uh, where uh, the spawn point is. So 
so da, 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 da. Um, it's a list right yeah so we should check uh, we should check on um, <laughs> we should check that we have at least two so I will use a flag S path found false. Let's move this again here. If and then here we set it. So let's um, set it here also. Let's move it here. First, let the algorithm search if if we uh, so let's move this here. If pass was not found, but but at least. Uh, a path was started. Then search again from the other exits. So if path was still not found on the other exit then throw the exception okay so uh, if we don't find it we have enough so try to find it from this one okay so here uh, it should be puzzle path do we have a last no. last index? No. Uh, this can can this be totally new? I don't think so. I, unless there is exception here. Yeah. Um, you know what let's uh, hmm. yeah
I'm afraid uh, the puzzle path may not have enough. Uh, at least it should have one. And then we can memorize it. So it should be the, I guess, the last one. screen Y okay uh, let's try this to see if at least it fix uh, our problem so let's draw it if I move it here no it doesn't <laughs> It doesn't. Uh, here also it doesn't. So I guess the equal is not working. So let's see. Uh, we can place. So let's put a breakpoint in the equal. Ah. <laughs> the equal is not called uh no it's it should be called um, that's not a good news Let's call this in the watch true. Okay, yeah. We have a false, but why? Uh, I'm surprised because I put a breakpoint. Oh, I put a breakpoint in equal, not in the different. Sorry. Let's redo it. Okay, that's better. Zero and minus one, twenty four. Okay, zero twenty four. Let's watch this two object.
So actually, we should not find any. Uh, let's trace it here. So this shouldn't. We should not find any path. But then when we um, search a second time, we should find it. So uh, this one is false. Yep, and the puzzle count is five. So this time I should enter again and the path node to exclude is uh, 0 0.16 and uh, okay so here again we will start by checking this and this is where this will become true so how about that zero sixteen zero twenty four ah uh zero sixteen zero twenty four it should be should be zero sixteen i think ah yeah so zero twenty four is the first screen below okay so is is that the current screen that we want to to check. Ah, okay. Um, so ah, that's a problem because we we are checking the exit of of the first screen. Ha. <laughs> ah. So it should be the next screen. I don't have the next screen uh, yet. Um, ta -ta -ta. The next screen is this one. So here in my test, I should test the. <laughs> Uh, next screen, okay. Um, but that becomes less uh, easy to write. I need to create a new node just for that. I guess no. But anyway, uh, the equal operator is needed for the contents contents will check if it's equal and you want just want to check only on the coordinates not not on the id so but by default it will contain all the all the values so that was important to write it all right so let's change that to two tests um let's write it like this it will be easier screen x different from um from current screen x And screen Y <laughs> different from screen Y minus this one, which is the next screen. So my not to exclude different X, but the next, uh, the Y 
pathway exit y current screen ok I think that should be this so this one becomes plus and So this one becomes um, sc screen x minus the width is the same i same y. Okay. And then this should be a plus. Uh, all right, let's try. Let's remove the breakpoint. Um, and now okay so if i move it here oh it's working if i move here no it's not working <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my god if i move it here it's working why come on So I have the correct path. Um, ah, because I'm checking the, I should not check the second one. I should check the, no, no, I really should check the second one for sure. Um, Oh my god, yes. Uh, no, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. We have to trace again. So... Let's double check all lines. Current screen X, Y, Y minus this, X, X, Y. X. So that's the height, that's the height. And this one is with with minus huh no okay so let's uh, trace it Um, actually we can just ignore the first path because it will be false so that's false right yep and then all right so our path is We start one sixteen sixteen. Let's do the next one. Next one. Uh, zero sixteen. Let's let's add the next one. And uh, 024 okay and now 
so that um, the exclude the exclude path the exclude screen is uh, two sixty is a uh, sixteen eight. Yeah, that was the starting just the one above. Okay, so now I should find it normally. Ah, uh, but no, this will never be true. Let's try it so it should not find it on the top and bottom so let's go left and right left and right um, that's that's left so Pathway clean is sixteen eight and puzzle screen width is six uh, sixteen. So current screen is zero. Zero plus sixteen is sixteen. Uh, and that's 16 also but the 8 and that's 24 of course it's much below so this one will never oh this one will never be true that's true but this one will never be ah this one is false that's why I I don't I want both. Uh, this test is not correct. It should be one or one of the two should be different. Uh, is uh, this one different or this one different? Okay, the test is not correct. So this one is different or this one is different. So one of the two is different, then we are all good. That means we are not the same. Or I can reverse the test. Not equal. Maybe it's easier to read. No, maybe not. All right. That's quite a lot of tests, so. I hope that works because I don't want to <laughs> modify this function again. That's a bit tricky function, but we need it I don't want to use a star for that also there's only two directions so should be okay all right let's try again Let's move this here. Oh, finally, we found it. We found the path. Okay, and uh, oops. Here, 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 here. It's not crashing. Okay. 
Okay. <sighs> Finally. And um, I also want to. There's no new. There's no new. <laughs> I need to restart it. I also want to um, test random map. Like, I want to test the cyclic map also. Because we modified the contents. So. We have to, unfortunately. Feel everything like this. Well, actually, we can have a big hole. That's fine. Right. Let's do that. So let's put this here and the grail. Where's the grail? Here, here, here. Uh, oh, start this one. Okay. And uh, what about? Okay, this one. No. How about cyclic map? Um yeah we need to have another uh exit to have a cyclic map I think like uh, for example Let's make a hole here. It's pretty annoying to do this. Okay, so here we go. We should have a cyclic map, I think, here. Uh, as the dating cyclic path in the chain of puzzle screen, exactly. So, like, for example, is going here, and um, Yeah, the, mm, the the path is not updated, by the way. So uh, we don't know exactly from where it goes. Let me see if we can improve that. The cyclic, cyclic path is... Uh, the exception is... Uh, here uh, so maybe we can place it after that uh, 
just to add one more path before before throwing the event um, so I will save it and we will uh, revert the map save Where is the grail? Hello? Um... I don't understand why uh, we should at have at least some uh, some some puzzle added. Let's trace it. So I'm doing that. You you may think, oh, that's useless, but I'm just being generous by those who want to use the editor to create your own. Uh, Rick Ardour's level. I just want just yeah to make to help people to create their, their level. Uh, I just want add one. How can be. contains so let's let's check what do we have here zero zero uh -huh. zero zero is a reserve uh, screen I should not um, create it like this my mistake <laughs> so zero eight current screen and puzzle path contains zero eight uh, no I cannot add <laughs> before okay that was a stupid mistake Let's undo it. Um, so yeah, I'm. I'm. I don't know why the current path, the the cyclic path, is detected so early. It should should be detected. Uh, should be detected uh, later huh now it's not detected anymore So 
how to um, so it, it's checking up top bottom first um, uh -huh. how to get back to that's a bit difficult I need to get back from top or from bottom oh yeah I can I can go back from bottom actually uh, tick Woo! You are going very far. Let's close this path. Okay. You're right, I cannot find a path this way. Now let's open here and we should have a cyclic path. Oh, already detected, yes. Yeah, because I don't need to be open. Okay, so yeah, we have a cyclic path detected like that by going from top to bottom. Okay. So the contains function seems to work. Uh, okay, good. I think we can just um, commit this. It's one hour. Yeah, that was a big, <laughs> that was a big issue, but I'm pretty happy to, to have fixed it. So let's commit this. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, so of course we will revert the map data. revert this one's also revert and then let's see what we change so we wrote our equal operator and then we created this we moved the exception to this function and add a parameters to add an exclude node that we just excluded here and return a boolean instead of throwing directly the exception because you can test two times. Um, uh, by the way, we yeah, if there is three uh, three different exits, then <laughs> but that's that's not what it should do. All right, that's pretty okay. Uh, we can we can update the readme also. By the way. Uh, So, yeah, I'll just remove this big, big, <laughs> uh, big, big stuff to do on our to the list. So, um, improve the uh, path puzzle path finding. <coughs> to search in both direction from the start starting uh, puzzle screen all right so to finish this stream, we have half an hour. I think we can do something less cool. 
are less uh, less stressful <laughs> less complicated we can just uh, add a new level and see um and i by the way i compiled the code and it seems that we are at uh, 90 98% of program right now so <laughs> I will uh, the um, the other bug I was mentioning at the beginning of the video like uh, the zooming I, I'm I'm afraid that's a bit uh, <laughs> complicated I will probably fix it outside of the video um, and that's a bit stupid bug so let's uh, try to continue this here so now we need to I think we need to add the uh, arrow launcher let's see what we have so scorpion we have done it the stalactite we have done it uh later yeah so later and arrow launcher that's the two i would like to to do in the next uh, uh in the next puzzle screen so let's do that so my idea here would be to um maybe we we'll go up so we can go down and then up again because also, I think we should go up, maybe to finish here. Um, so we can go down and then up again. And every time we will move, there will be our launcher <laughs> throwing arrows on the ladders. Um, so, for example, we can have one here. Uh, let's mirror it. Let's do something like that. Oh, I'm d I'm already excited about this kind of nasty stuff. Let's move the gray. On. Um, I guess we can have something uh, just like this. What? Okay. Um, because you will just walk maybe give a little bit more space yeah to be to be nicer with the player and then hmm no but because yeah, because it's later, so maybe we can just use platform instead. Not this one, this one. And I think the steroid should be against uh, a, a block. So something like this. <laughs> maybe not here, maybe. Okay. That would be a big surprise for the player. We can add the big statue again. Although if we add the statue, that's a bit strange to put a statue on a statue. <laughs> Let's uh, place it here, maybe. So okay, let's 
place the ground. So the first uh, arrow launcher is for as a tutorial. <laughs> is to teach the player the second one this then i mean then after we can't go crazy maybe maybe three let's mirror this one um so we can place a ladder in the center, maybe here. Mm -hmm. So we place a left. Oh, this one should be that one. Uh, no, actually, I need also stones. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I think we can create a more interesting puzzle over there. Uh, but I don't know what yet. Don't know what. Uh, I want this here, 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 another one here. Wow, well, the the big statue here looks like. Um, looks like a giant guy with two legs so <laughs> I think we need more stone to enclose it probably Not sure if it's better, but uh, um, so I think yeah, we should try to improve the puzzle here. No, uh, also crawling, crawling is quite important. Crawling under the arrow. So probably probably let's do this. Let's remove this so that we teach crawling. We can we can teach the player. We can be nice and put put uh, 
a statute here but add some kind of uh, block um, and increase the the sensor here but I don't think I want to let's not be nice <laughs> Um okay. So this one let's revert. But if we place it here then we need more more space. So we should move the later here. maybe here Optimize the level a little bit. Uh, we should, yeah, and I want to exit from the top basically. So we should also teach the player that you can do this. So maybe if I put another statue here and then try to move. Um, Let's put some uh, tuk 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 platform, uh, maybe not here, but here. And then we add another arrow launcher. Wow. Will we reach 100% of progmem? That's the big question here. Um, I want to crawl. So you jump and you have to crawl. Uh, oh, that's that's probably impossible to impossible to do. We can try. Uh, let's leave a big opening like this. So that if the player fall from the previous level, he will <laughs> be killed by the arrow launcher. Um, so first, first one is to to learn. Second one, it will reach here. The owl will launch. It will go up or go down. Then crawl, 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 and then go up. Then go down, go up. This one is prob the last one is probably a bit hard to 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 pass. I'm not sure we can we can test. Uh, would be nice to add uh, a statuette also in that level. Or should um, maybe we can teach the yeah, I, I remember in the f in the original uh, uh, Ricardo's Rick um, Rick Dangerous game, I think the first time they teach you the uh, arrow launcher was also with a bonus. So maybe we can put the starret and then just the arrow launcher in front of it. Um,
let's see but if we do that it should be at the near the entrance um, uh, hmm. If I mirror it, can I place it somewhere like here? Maybe. But it's not very clear because it's in the collision. <laughs> Um, at least we need two here, so... Yeah, let's move this below. Can we? Okay, we can move this here. And uh, let's clear this a little bit. Let's put our statuette around here. Around, around here, I guess. And if we do that, we need to clear this. And here we can have something like that. And we place our arrow launcher here. And then we just place another platform here. Or maybe even remove that one here. Um, so, but I just arrived here and block here. So, uh, but I want to jump. Okay, let's move this here. Well, maybe we can just close this, which means I can move this one here. All right, that's much, much better. So I come down here and then I have this statuette, never seen, but never mind. I will go directly grab the <laughs> uh, grab the statuette then get killed by the arrow launcher okay then Okay, respawn here, then I go down and I should realize that there's another one here, so then I will learn to crawl, then go up, careful this one, careful that one. Okay. All right. Do we have a path, correct path? Yep. Maybe I can just move this here. And let's save it. Uh, and uh, let's try to compile 
how much memory is that? 100% sketch too big no surprise <laughs> no surprise we cannot test it um, so let me show you all right all right all right so I guess we have to reduce 28,954. Wow, that's a lot. Um, then I will, I will just save. I will uh, save the map like that in um, in Git, and then I will remove some. Oh no, I. Uh, now I can just comment actually to test. So let's um, remove some instance like enemies, I think. Uh, maybe not this one. Four is used. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Twenty-eight, eight, ninety-six. Uh, still too big. Uh, let's remove the spike, for example, or the stalagmite. No, stalagmite, I need them. The spike. Six seventy six. Oh, we need four bytes. <laughs> Let's remove uh, dyn dynamite. Let's remove the boulder. All right, ninety seven. Wow, the boulder is, seems very big. I'm surprised. Uh, let's try it. So I guess the camera is dead. Okay, let's try it. Alright. Okay, so let's see. Everything seems easy. I just jump here and then boom. Maybe I try again. Okay, I say, what is that? Whoop! And then, what is that? Okay. And then, yeah? And there are launcher should launch. Ah, uh, maybe it's too low, too high. Oh. Yeah, it's too high. Okay. 
but it needs to be lower otherwise you cannot uh... ah <laughs> well, okay need to be lower otherwise uh, it has to shoot constantly then I can pass uh, and the last one also is too high it's almost invisible okay um, so let's try again even if I will feel the memory uh, this is strange because this one is actually uh, quite low so we have a position issue that's a bug okay so maybe I will, we will just stop here yeah they are all too high even this one even this one is too high all right okay so let's commit this uh, even if uh, we cannot compile well with with the commented code yes we can um, so let's commit Right, so add the arrow launcher, uh, add the arrow launcher, uh, add a new level with the arrow launcher. So we can even remove these two. <laughs> All right. Yep. All right. So yeah, that's it. So we reached the memory, <laughs> and we f fill the memory finally. Um. And it's a bit normal because we we add more instance, more item instance. Uh, although we reuse the instance, so um, but uh, we have uh, like we have four enemies, but now we just add the arrow launcher. Um, yeah, we have so so we reuse the the instance, but uh, the maximum is uh, how much instance you have in the same level. So, for example, here we have four enemies. So if I want to optimize a bit on the level design side, I could just put three instead of four. Uh, here we have two enemies, uh, blah, blah, blah. Here we have four arrow launcher. Uh, so we need four instance. Uh, if we want to optimize, we can just put three. Here we have six spike. That's maybe a bit too much. Maybe we can just remove three of them <laughs> or two of them i'm thinking I'm f i have the feeling that having four instance maximum per uh, per type is reasonable in one uh, uh in one level and we only have one statuette which is great just one statuette by level that's that's logical um so yeah anyway i think in the next video we will start to do some optimization and see if we can find some memory and continue our level design um, 
maybe to push even further like one or two level more maybe because uh i have the feeling that the the map the 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 wall id but by itself is not taking that much uh, bytes but uh every time we add more instance that takes more code because you have the instance size but you also have the code that come with this instance so once we have all of them yeah the code cannot be reduced well, maybe we can reduce the code but uh, yeah so yeah that's what we'll do next time try to optimize and see if we can <laughs> add more level thank you for watching bye bye